uh, it cannot be solved because it's part of a bigger problem and it's part of a bigger geopolitical picture. The refugee crisis didn't start in Syria, it didn't start in Libya, it didn't start in, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in all the forgotten wars. It started in the Pentagon. It started in the Pentagon, yes, in the State Department. <laughs> Just, just to finish, because it, I think it's very important to note, it will go on. Uh, recently, WikiLeaks uh, published uh, a secret document on the so-called Operation Sophia. I don't know how much you know about it, but you should Google it. Go to WikiLeaks and check it out. Uh, it's a military action in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, led by French forces, UK forces, Frontex, and so on, where the first step, so it consists of three parts. The first step is uh, military action in the high seas of the Mediterranean, in order, apparently, to stop the smugglers uh, bringing refugees in. The second step is, it's not high seas anymore, but they want to come and they already are in the territorial waters of Libya. And now when you read Operation Sophia, the secret uh, document, which is not secret, fortunately, anymore, thanks to WikiLeaks, you will see what is the next plan. You have an Italian commander saying, asking from the European authorities for an invasion of Libya uh, on the ground. And what is the reason? That's the reason, and here I end, why I think there is no difference between economic migrants and asylum seekers. The reason is economy again. So the situation in Libya is completely unstable. Why is it unstable? Of course, because of us again, because of France, Hollande and so on, and the United States. And it's unstable, and what they need is actually a new intervention in Libya to bring, again, the economy back to Europe. So I think as, as long as we don't question geopolitics, what is happening in Syria, where you have more than 20 players involved, uh, we can solve the refugee crisis. And what it shows, and this is an announcement for the next round table as well, is a complete failure of foreign policy of, of European Union. Thank you very much.